Cade Miele, Miele Falce, Karja, and welcome to this week's episode of Up My Own Hole. Gaurav Miele Mahagut to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed to this podcast already. And if you're new to this podcast and you like what you see and you hear, please don't hesitate to recommend to friends and share around. You can find me on any social media and at Up My Own Hole on Twitter, TikTok and Instagram. Shine. Kid Mila Mila Falcha Karja and welcome to this week's episode of Up My Own Hole. Seamus or Kruliak is Anam Dum. Thank you very much for clicking the links and uh, supporting this podcast. Just just by online, just by just by commenting, just by talking, by by uh, just listening to this now. If you can rate it five stars. Wherever you're listening to it and, and leave a review saying that I'm the fucking best thing you ever heard in your life. It'd be great. Um Yeah, Sham. I have been trying to get this podcast system set up there at the last couple of minutes. Um last hour I'd say. And I've been going from bad to worse. For some reason I've I've another microphone and it doesn't work unless it's a certain cable. But then the other cables work for other things, which is not to... So anyway, yeah. Um, Started a new job as well last week. All going good. Manic busy. Uh, I'm actually in in the quiet part of it all. Um, But I was... I'd be shipped up and down there into the the busy parts. And um, it's crazy. It's all cafes and stuff, and I tell you, I'm getting too old for it. <laughs> getting too old for it, by. It is, um, yeah, I don't know. It is a full fucking station. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, was a good old day now today, busy one. Um, and time went kind of fast as well, you know. It's good that way. Uh, How's my head? How's this week? How's this week gone? Well, in the space of seven days, we've had about six or seven hundred people killed in in Palestine. If if not if not more, I don't I don't know. But there's been massacres there. So like, there's deaths and then there's massacres. Obviously, a massacre would be something with more than one death and and and. And upwards. Um, so yeah, the, that's happening still. Um, that's happening still. Um, and then we have an ex-president of America who nearly ran the country into civil war. Um, gets... Uh, his ear grazed from a man that's lying in a roof where the whole crowd is shouting and pointing at, at the man on the roof and CIA don't don't swoop in to try help him or to try kill the, 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 the fellow on the, on the roof and then he ends up getting his ear scratched big picture after and it takes over the whole world news you know Donald Trump is a w, WWE Hall of Famer. He has come out on numerous occasions saying how stupid the American population is and how easy it is to manipulate them into thinking that you're doing something good for them. But, in, but instead you're actually... But instead, you're actually doing you, you, you're doing something just to just to fucking sort yourself out, you know. So, in other words, he said that he could become president any time he wanted. He said this back in the eighties. Um, as I say, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. He knows a good storyline. He knows a good business plan. 
he knows a good corruption. He knows a great way to to pull the wool over people's eyes, tell them one thing but actually do another. He's been handed everything on his life. He's a he's a Zionist. He's a complete um, misogynistic um, predator who is racist and is fear mongering. Um, and uh, and to think that he uh, and to think that all of that was not set up in order for him like he's in the middle of a, of a, of a of the presidential race um and you're telling me that he didn't set that up in order for him to get the sympathy vote to get people on his side don't shoot our president plays into the hands of those who think that to, they're all out to get him because he's going he's going to change the world and and they're stopping him from changing changing the world like I just don't I don't um I don't buy it I don't buy it in it um I don't believe it I believe if there's going to be a man on a roof <coughs> for that long and the CIA don't swoop in and do something then something has to give what's going on and for me what's going on is um, for me what's going on is uh, is a set up really is this, is, it's staged it's um, it's staged and it's uh, it's it's all it's all a, it's all a game it's all a play it's all being rolled out in front of our eyes as that was happening to Donald Trump, there was three massacres taking place, or two massacres taking place in Gaza alone. Um, so, yeah, it's all about, like, it's all about dividing the public, it's about dividing the the working class, it's about dividing the, the news headlines. Um, yeah, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's mad. It's 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 incredible to think that that we live in this world now. You know, there's babies being blown to smithereens, and there's babies being dragged from rubble. Tons of rubble on top of them. They're being dug out, and ten or twenty people. Sitting on a on a on a heap of on a heap of uh, rubble. That was once someone's home, and they're pulling up block by block and pipe by pipe and wire by wire and scraping things to one side and digging deeper to find to find to find human remains. Men, women, children, dogs, pets. And the world is standing by as it all takes place. The man in charge of all that destruction and genocide is a man who has recently come out to say that he will that the development of the Gaza Strip into new homes and, and holiday homes and it's like fourteen it's gonna cost like fourteen billion, he said. Will be taking place soon, so yeah. It's like it's like someone just came into Ireland and bombed and murdered and slaughtered and killed the men, women, and children of the island, and then just built it again and said, "Right, there's this new island off the coast of Europe, and if you want to buy a holiday home there, you can." You just have to. Uh, you just have to. Um, yeah, you just have to pay top dollar for it now. There's no longer Irish people in the world. They're all gone now. They were less than human. They were animals, and we treated them as such. And uh, yeah, good riddance. No, we have a new tropical island off the coast of Europe. 
Um, yeah. Sign up for a new home. You know, that's exactly what's going on at the moment. <sighs> totally and utterly insane. Um, hard to watch. Hard to hard to hard to gain any bit of momentum to feel as though there's there's good coming of it. You know, or good 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 around the corner. And I don't know what else to do. Only to keep showing up. You know. That's all I do. I do, I do believe in good. I do believe in karma. I do believe in good things. I do believe that what you give out, you get back. I do believe that this life is is more than what we think it is. That there's more going on behind the scenes. And I do believe that we have to stay strong and push forward and stay united and and stay stay hungry for peace and hungry for for humanity and 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 no matter how bad things get that we keep pushing forward that's easy for someone like me to say who's sitting here at my kitchen table in my apartment with my fucking equipment talking into cameras and microphones and drinking from my cup of fucking coffee you know, um, very easy for someone like me to say, if I was on the gas strip, would I have given up by now? I fucking, I don't know, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't put, I can't describe something that I'm not a part of, you know what I mean? But I'm a part of the world, and I'm a, I'm a citizen of the world, and I'm a citizen of the planet. And that's, um, and that is enough for me to know that I need to I that that I need to act as one. I I need to act as a citizen. I'm a member of my family. I, I'm my own person. I'm a member of my family. I'm a member of my extended family. I'm a friend. I'm a fucking community. I'm a part of a community. I'm part of a community here now in Australia. I'm a fucking boyfriend. I'm an uncle. I'm a godfather. I'm a brother. I'm I'm all these things, and I want to be the best one that I can be. Do you know? So, because it's all the way over in Palestine, does it, it? It does that mean it doesn't con concern me then that it's because it's in Palestine? You know? Um, no, it, it does. And how, how does it? Because we're all part of it. We're all part of this world. We're all part of the community, the greater community, the, the more the, the more local and also the more international. We're all a part of it. So once we start dividing and saying, oh, fuck them, they're all down in Palestine, or fuck them, they're over in America, or fuck them, they're over in fucking Australia, or fuck them, they're fucking British, or... Once we start dividing ourselves like that, then that's how they play the game. Then, and then it's a group of people looking for a common enemy, you know. So if 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 I'm in a group, if I'm in the successful group, and we all take the piss out of the Irish, so the first thing I'm going to do then is take the piss out of the Irish with the lads because then I'm accepted in their group, and then I can get successful like them. And that's how you create this sick, mental, misogynist. Um, racist, bigot, um, Zionists, all these things, you know. These, these things are only become, or they come into fruition when, when a load of people grab onto it, you know. I, choo I choose to be broke. I choose to have fucking nothing but love in my heart for fucking, for my fellow men. And if that means I, I, I have nothing for the rest of my life, but, uh, but I'll work for the peace in Palestine and Ghana and, and all all over the world, then so be it. I wouldn't give a top any fuck. I know people who chase money all their lives and chase this and chase that and chase the other thing and, and they hit 40 years of age and they, and they scratch their head and think, how am I still not feeling fucking worthy enough? Or I, I, I'm not feeling... 
complete or I'm not feeling love and I'm not feeling any of this how is this happening what's happening is because you've been chasing something all your life I've been chasing drink I've been chasing drugs I've been chasing women I've been chasing fucking everything besides peace all my life and it's only in recent years through sobriety and and a connection with the world that grew through sobriety that I that I stand today as a humanitarian as a man who who loves to see peace who loves to see laughter who loves to see happiness who loves to see kids growing up without trauma or what it were with very little or or to feel loved for kids to feel love for for children to feel a part of something for for them to feel safe and warm and and secure that's what i want today that's that's all i want today is for is for people everybody in the world to feel as though they're accepted by someone they love or and if not by someone at all I lost a lot of that through my drinking I threw, lost a lot of it through my addictions I, I didn't receive a lot of it because of other people's addictions and I didn't receive a lot of it because of other people's traumas but today we have the knowledge and the know-how to tackle it to tackle to, to tackle a trauma before it, it it gets to us to see to to almost to almost see one coming in the distance to be able to to be able to see something happening and know Jesus Christ this has after happened to me a couple of times and what can I do to avoid this coming and that's put the fucking put make the make this make the necessary steps to look after yourself and then in a broader term that will pass on you know so there's a ripple effect into all that if someone sees me doing that and they, and they don't want to be hurting then I say how are you getting out of your heart how am I getting out of my heart I'm looking after myself you know and that's what I do but then with, with that then comes grace and, and I can find myself in a, in, a, in a very graceful place where I don't need a whole pile and I and, and for a little while I mean I'm, I'm at peace with myself so when I see stuff like what's happening in, in Palestine happening I'll use whatever avenue and, and whatever tools I have to bring awareness and to bring to bring awareness and to bring fucking knowledge and and to, and to, and to speak to speak to those who don't speak to I want to pass on whatever knowledge I have to people who are, who don't have any and if you have if you have then brilliant I hope you're using it too this is a cafe that I have behind me a cafe cafe whatever this, I don't know how to pronounce it properly um, and I wear this um, I wear this around Australia um I wear this around Sydney and uh, I wear it to work and I'm working uh, in the campus at the moment and there was a protest for Palestine today and I wore it um, but I wear it anyway and I don't want to not wear it I recently put a post up on a Facebook page here a community kind of Facebook page here looking to sell kind of Palestinian merchandise like the singlet that I got and um, there was good interest for it so I'm going to talk to a supplier soon and see what we're see what we can do um, and raise more funds for for Palestine you know and um, so there's other avenues opening up now and getting a bit kind of um, there's kind of sparks flying so that was one avenue and then it, it, it's after drawing me towards something else I want to I want to make more of a community I want to do more 
so I want to get more involved. I'm very lucky in this new job now that it's Monday to Friday, so I have weekends off and stuff. So this weekend now there's a thing going on in uh, the University of Sydney, um, and it's it's by the Australian Socialist Party that is holding an, a three-day event, a kind of two-day event, Friday evening as well. And I'm going to attend that, and I'm going to learn. I'm going to shut my mouth, and I'm going to listen. I'm going to try to take on the information, and I'm going to try and learn as best I can about what goes on around the world, about what has been done in the past in order to overcome apartheid and, and, and genocide, and and what can we do as 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 people of the world to 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 bring more peace to it. I think it was back in the. <coughs> I think it was back in the early 90s or late 80s there was a woman in Dunstores she worked in the shop in Dunstores and she um, she worked in the shop in Dunstores and this person came to the till with a, with a South African product and she wouldn't scan it because of what was what the atrocities that were taking place in South Africa and she said I'm not going to scan the, their products and from that then her colleagues joined her and a huge strike broke out around Ireland, um, which added to the which added to the worldwide condemnation of South Africa at the time. So, through that, came a little bit of peace in South Africa. Um, and, and, and there was huge changes made, you know. And that was f- not just from the Dunstores woman, no, but like all over the world. People in, I was talking to a girl yesterday who was talking about the socialist event that's on at the weekend. And she taught me there was a huge push in Australia as well at the time. But at the time, the Australian government were actually sponsoring the South African rugby team to come to Australia and f- to be flown around playing matches. But then this other group, who were protesting against it, stopped it. Uh, stopped a lot of the matches that from being played and it got so bad that the, the hospitality sector in Australia wouldn't even serve the team. It was an all-white South African rugby team. It was only whites were allowed to play um, and the hospitality sector wouldn't serve them. Qantas pilots wouldn't refuse to fly them. Um, and it was, uh, it was a huge, huge movement that actually swayed a lot of the, the general public's uh, view and, and, and informed them of what was actually going on. And in their disgust, changed the politicians' um, actions and, and ultimately, along with that and everything else that goes on around the world, huge changes happened in South Africa, you know. So, this is what I'm saying. It it takes it takes everyone, each one, teach one. That's what they say, you know. So everybody has a responsibility to 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 stand up and be counted. Everybody doesn't matter who you are or what you're after doing or what kind of fucking things you've done in the past. Or where you, or if you've no plan of action or whatever, everybody has to stand up and be counted. From the fucking pauper on the street to the fucking billionaire above, everybody needs to needs to do their needs to play their part. And it goes without saying that, even if you are the pauper or even if you are the billionaire. No one is better than the other. And when it comes to voting, it doesn't matter what you have in your pocket or it doesn't matter how many fucking businesses you have, your vote is still just one vote. And it, the power is in numbers. The power is in numbers. The power is in the people. Everybody in this world has... There's a, there's a small percentage of fucking assholes in this world. And unfortunately, a lot of the fuckers are in power. But they've been voted in there because they're manipulating the public. You see what's going on in, 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 in Dublin at the moment with all the fucking rioting and all this. It's an uneducated, 
like I'm fa- I'm not educated either, but I, but I've 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 a thirst for knowledge, and I've a thirst for fucking for doing the next right thing. I know racism is not the way to go. I could fucking I. That's not saying that if 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 you went back twenty years, and someone else guided me in the right direct or in the wrong direction, that I wouldn't end up up in Dublin writing with them. Of course I could. I'm no different to them. They're no different to me. But inside I know what is right. And what is, what is what definitely isn't right is burning down JCBs and fucking refugee centres. That's going to bring... I, I don't see how that's going to help anybody um, move forward and, and gain fucking housing or whatever like, you know? Gain, gain houses, gain, gain security, gain fucking, you know, like it, burning things to the ground doesn't work. We're not back in the fucking KKK in the, in the 19 fucking 20s, you know what I mean? This is, what's the story with the pitchforks and fucking, and, and, and fire, like, that's not what this is about at all. We live in a democracy, we can vote for things, do you know what I mean? Um, But it's been, it's been stirred up stirred up and stirred up and funded and funded and funded by people who want to keep the agenda exactly the way it is. Nobody wants to look at Palestine when you're burning down a JCB. Nobody wants to look at who's at fault for Palestine when you're burning down a JCB. Nobody wants to look at fucking what's going on in Palestine when you hear that there's Palestinians coming to live in Ireland. Then you think that Palestine is the problem. And fuck it, yeah, the Jews are fucking... The Jews and, and the Zionists, they're dead right. Do you know? To fucking... To, to burn them all down. Uh, do you know? To kill them all. Wipe them all off their fucking... Like, it's it's incredible how easy it is to deter someone's... To, to, to change someone's view on a few... On a few and a few lies that look quite educated, you know what I mean? Sprinkle it up with a bit of good vocabulary, say a couple of facts, but then at the tail end just kind of change them to, just kind of edge them towards racism. Vocabulary is very important. Like how, how things are spoken about, headlines and papers, headlines and, and, and the news. All these things are very, very important and they can be swayed, you know? They can sway someone's thinking. So it's it's we need to we need to band together and each one teach one you know what I mean uh, we there's the fellas who are burning down JCBs and and who are burning down refugee centres are not the ones that are going to going to community halls and 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 listening to politicians or speakers or any they're not like you know they're not they're just they're on the street. And they're living on the street, and they're and and they're doing the bollocks. And but we need people on the street to pick up a bit of knowledge. And so that's what I'm saying. Each one, teach one. Every one of us has a, has the responsibility to speak to one another with fucking with with the knowledge of knowing that you're implementing something into our youth. And what you're impl- what you need to implement is fucking knowledge to know that we're all together, that we're all in this together, and and if we stick together. We can have whatever we want. That doesn't mean burning down refugee centres. That doesn't mean burning down fucking the immigrant buses or, or, or being anyway unwelcoming to immigrants at all. That's that that's gonna gain nothing. What we need to do is stick together, sit down and be and be and and be civil and and talk and 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 listen, say what say what you want, and listen to, to the solution. You know what I mean. That's what we need to do in this life, and 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 that, and that goes into every avenue, every avenue. So it's just fucking. It's very frustrating to see the way things are going, um, and I'm not. As I say, I'm not even an educated fucking man. Like you know, I. I left school at fifteen. Went working. Um, I'm 32 years of age, and and I'm and I'm in the brust I I'm I'm a brusta in a fucking on a college campus where young ones are are they're upset that they're working in the job they're in because they have so much 
more to give you know what I mean they have degrees and they have all this but they're they're out here travelling and their lives aren't even started yet you know so I'm 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 in their position I they're they're in the job that I'm in as a stepping stone to their next career you know to their career whereas this is my career you know what I mean so sometimes that's hard to take but it's also a fucking I have to wear it I have to wear it like a badge because it is what it is I'm in I'm in this position I'm in so I'm in this position I'm in true life and true fucking everything true my own faults my own trials and tribulations the whole lot and I have to wear it like a badge but what can I do in my circumstance to make me a better person and that's try my best to do the next right thing and the next right thing for me right now is to learn more about what's going on around the world and try and make a difference. It's about getting out and showing solidarity. Solidarity is is a word that's been used an awful lot lately, but it, it like it's very very important like to stand shoulder to shoulder with someone who's going through something really really hard, and tell them that you'll be there for them no matter what. I have a friend of mine who recently lost someone close back home and to stand with him would be great do you know what I mean but I, I text and I call and I, I leave it there and but they know that I'm with them and that might, I, that might mean fuck all or it might mean a little bit but if we if everybody did that in the in the area then you know which I presume they are then it's great to know that 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 you're accepted that you're part of that we're all here for one another you know what I mean and it's the same globally it could be a small parish or it could be a fucking big city or it could be the whole world so standing in solidarity is, is extremely important um, so that's an, another next right thing I try to do and I try to stay sober and I try to stay clear minded so that when I'm up against when I'm up with my nephews over here and we're going playing ball and they, and they keep asking for stuff and they keep, or whatever that I don't get frustrated because I, I lose my patience and blah, blah. so instead I can actually be with them I can be I can look at them and love them and show them love and they'll feel that but whatever and any words being said they can, they'll feel it in their heart because they'll see it with their eyes and they'll, and, and they'll know it with their mind you know and, and it's that's the connection I want and that's the connection I want world round so yeah it's it's tough so it's tough at the moment to see what's going on around the world, but at the same time, I, I have faith that things are working out. I see a lot of good people around the world, lads, doing fucking fantastic stuff. So as much as the news and as much as everything else will fucking plague our minds and, and try to tell us that that the world is fucking wrong, it's not. What's going? A lot of the stuff that's going on is wrong, but there's, there's the, the, the revival of, of humanity is here the fucking the the can the, the, the togetherness and the connection of of humans all over the world is is on the up and we're all we're 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 taking it back we're taking it back but from the zionists from the fucking sick 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 fucking powers that be at the moment like we did in Ireland with the Catholic Church, it's no longer in power. It still has a bit of power, but it doesn't have what it once what it once had. It, that Ireland is still in the in in the in the revival of uplifting. Do you see the way we are with the, with with our solidarity with Palestine, and it's happening world round. It's happening all over the world. See Spain is Spain and the Netherlands and on, and we're all we're all. I can see it just on my Instagram, just on my. Twitter or whatever. If you focus on the bad, the bad will appear. And focus on the good, the good will appear. And I, I'm, I'm going to keep focusing. I keep my faith and keeping my fucking spirit alive. And um, yeah, and and I'm only. I can't wait until uh, until I look back on this day and and this period with sadness, but also in with in hindsight because things will be so good. That um, yeah, and and see some and have some understanding of it all, you know, um. So yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'd say. 
Oh yeah, I was in Vinnie's today. I bought a, a, a milk frother. Um, so I'm actually just looking here now. I have a milk frother. Tell me you're old without telling me you're old. <laughs> I can't stop buying things in Vinnie's. So I bought this. I bought this stand for for Anne's iPad. I bought a milk frother, and I don't even have a coffee machine. And I bought this joke that I put around my neck that I don't even need. Like, <laughs> uh, the milk frother is kind of decent, though, to be fair. Little screen on it. Oh, shit. So, yeah. Mop. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, lads. Um, I hope you have a great week. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about, really. Um, yeah, just keep her lit. Keep the, keep the good vibes going and, um, and look after yourselves. One and all. Big love. It's long before. fall. Gaurav Mila Mahagud for listening. If you like what you see and what you hear, um, please like, share, subscribe, recommend to a friend, subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, we leave it there. Slang of all.